Well, hello everyone, Jason Levine here, continuing our 24 hours of Periscope live from Adobe San Francisco. And uh, we've got Paul Tranny back here, who's going to be speaking with Danny Beaumont to talk to you about what's new in Muse with type kits. Let me go ahead and flip the camera and uh, take it away, Paul. Hey there, <laughs> hey there world. Uh, I'm next to Danny. I feel like you're like I'm your little brother, you by are. the way, just sitting low like this. <laughs> and Laurel, by the way, uh, you're not going to get away with us not handing it to you. Hello, world. Uh, you know, again, another Muse expert and marketer and all sorts of amazing things. And so is Danny. Danny, I don't even know what your official title is. I am officially um, a principal product manager on Adobe Muse. Principal. <clears throat> but you've been with Adobe how long? Yeah. Uh, a long time. A long time. We will. That's going to be undisclosed. We're not going to talk about it, but we are going to talk about uh, Muse and uh, some things that you have going on. I know you have some beautiful graphics up, which I like seeing that as a designer. I like glancing over and saying, hey, yeah, if you could help me make something like that for the web, then I'm, I'm in. You know what I'm saying? So Totally. Like, come on, spill the beans. Spill the beans with Muse. Not only what we released, what we're going to release. No, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. But, no uh, futures. Uh, sure. Absolutely. So, interestingly enough, last month, Muse celebrated its three-year anniversary. So, Muse has only been, it's slightly more than a toddler, um, 36 mo months old, maybe 37 at this point. We've updated the product 12 times since we shipped. And there's been a ton of functionality that's yeah, happened. I, I About a year ago, we started allowing you to extend Muse by way of Moo Cows, extensions to the application. And the community of folks that have broadened the base is incredible. Folks like Cookie and Muse Themes, Muse Grid, um, are vendors that really broaden the user base. This release that we just delivered this week um, is, to me, one plus one means five. Um, it's the culmination of Adobe Muse and the Typekit Premium yes. font yeah. service oh, exactly. combined that's, together. Yeah. And that's what we're looking at here. This is actually a design from a fellow in the community. His name is Aaron Lawrence, and he works for Pivotal Labs. And he's a typographer. He does so amazing long, type wheels, and he loves Muse. And just on a whim, he went in and built up a site that has, I'm still counting it up, it has over 50 different web fonts in it with oh, wow. multiple, multiple, multiple weights. And I have a site over here, it's called Sessions with Typography. And the thing that's amazing about it is it's serving up all of these fonts. Um, I'm just kind of blasting through there really quickly. Um, we'll take it a little slower, but just to come in and load so those are typekit fonts. fonts set obviously askew, like at an angle, and yeah. that is, and it's it's probably a fairly light sight scene as most of that's vector, if you will, and fonts. Exactly, it's a lot you of SVG know. graphics yeah. and typekit fonts. It's gorgeous, and it goes on and on. I love Aaron because Look at we that. talked to him a couple I weeks back. I don't back. like him. I think it's still too <laughs> good. So a couple weeks back, he bad. just did this to be fun on the side. Wait, are you ready? Yeah. What? <laughs> so he's using a combination of scroll effects and typekit fonts. So a um, little bit of love to Aaron. There's Aaron. Aaron's the man based in San Francisco. Yeah, just up the street. Awesome. So he obviously had like maybe an earlier build to be able to put this together, seeing as everybody, this is in um, everybody's hands. By the way, we're getting a lot of, whoa, amazing, super tight, very, very nice. positive loves and comments right? on that. Yeah, kind of and, amazing, and actually. What did it take? It took a designer with access to some fonts, some good color choices, yeah. right? And uh, yeah. I mean, as he says at the top of the site, just to call us out a little bit more, um, sessions with typography, typekit, and Adobe Muse, and as usual, no coding required. So all visually designed. And that's what's amazing Does anybody to me. have a problem with that? I'm just <laughs> checking. What's amazing to me is that never before have visual designers had thousands of typekit fonts on a design canvas that they can interact with. So it's exciting. We're really having a lot of fun yeah, with that. That's a that's a good point. I mean last time I had thousands of fonts, I'd have to wait five minutes for it to for me to launch the app that I'm dealing with. And you're yeah. looking over so. at the foundry over here and tight you know, coding mm -hmm. it in another area to see it on the canvas and experiment, I think is so much fun. Yeah. So we're really excited about it. And uh, so can we, and this is do. his actual file? Is that what's going on here? This is the actual file. Yeah. Well, so if I, I zoom like out a little bit here. So here I am in Muse. By the way, from So Fanciful, uh, Muse is awesome and so is Danny. Ah yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are really like I like how involved you are yeah. actually with 
you know, the community and people working on this stuff, so it's good. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, he's got a couple of different pieces here. Again, it's a combination of scroll effects and the fonts. Um, he did a phone layout so that it loads a little more lightly uh -huh. on the phone um, and the desktop design. So if you select an element, can you just show us, just like show the scroll effect panel? I don't know if it will. Yeah, come up sure. Or how Let's go it down is. here a little bit. So I'm going to come on in to some of this bits. And if I click on in, you've got, you'll notice there is a scroll handle there. Uh -huh. And here, I've been playing with the site a little bit myself just to kind of look at it. And you'll notice that it's got scroll motion applied at a certain point so that the pieces yeah. all fly in. That theme that flew so, out has the inverse scroll effect. So it begins assembled and then it flies away. Yeah, and at 6,000, when you scroll 6,000 pixels, that's when it goes really fast. Yeah, it obviously it kind of blows up. So yeah. that's very cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I mean, what else? I mean, honestly, I think you have a lot of your bases covered because what's not already built into Muse, you have, I don't know what you call them, but you have the different, obviously, the Muse themes, the different moo cows that you have going on. You have other yeah, people, absolutely. you know, sort of filling in the gap. I don't know. Let me show you a little bit of that. So um, on muse.adobe.com, it's a great place to go to see all of the elements and pieces together. We have a tab here for widgets, and this is a widget directory. There are hundreds of widgets that are contributed from the community. Some are for free, some cost money. Mm -hmm. um, again, as a designer, five bucks here, 10 bucks there. But they take all of the common web patterns that are honestly happening mm -hmm. more quickly than the engineering team could keep up with. Let's say full screen background video. It happened mm -hmm. fast. Um, yeah. Somebody in the community using JavaScript and some custom um, CSS built out full screen okay. videos in the background using a widget. That's good. So, like, uh, you know, you have developers that use code snippets, right? You, whether you have develop it or you get it from somewhere else. But this is kind of like in a similar vein, sort of things that you can take and apply to your site that does yeah. that same that functionality. Yeah, exactly. So, we've got two questions. Uh, one from Ross McCord: Where's the best place site to go for Muse tutorials? And another one: When will it be fully responsive? Ha! Huh, mm. Good questions. Um, for tutorials, there's pretty much two places to hang out. Um, the tutorials tab has been updated. So there are the latest five tutorials that are here. For each of the new content that we have, notice that there's a video link here that has a YouTube channel of videos for each of those features. And then there's an article. The articles are translated in 18 languages, so those are kind of nice. So that's mm -hmm. a great place to hang out. Um, CC Learn. Folks, yeah. So adobe.com in the learn section of the product page has all of this and lots from the community that's aggregated from and lots even, of places. Even when you launch Muse, right? Can you? From within Muse, and that actually lends itself to something also that um, we should talk about, yeah. which is we have a bunch of starter designs too. If you're brand new to Muse and you want to see how to construct a site, these uh -huh. designs have in, built in tooltip help. So if I click on something like Exposure, this is a brand new starter design that someone that's new to Muse could come in, assuming it'll load, <laughs> in the okay. interwebs. Getting a lot of yeses. Is there a lynda.com Muse tutorial that you're familiar Definitely, with? Definitely, yeah. So Lynda does. I mean, the yeah. thing that's amazing is I'm when amazing. we're iterating that quickly. In oh, fact, Paul oh, Tranny actually oh, has, OK. Um, so search for my name on lynda.com. Oh, thanks so Sponsored much, TLJS. That's right. No. Yeah, no. Right. Um, <laughs> Easy so now, these, Paul. These starter files include videos just as tooltips, so you can watch the video, figure out how to customize That's it. That's amazing. So if you're a, a new to Muse and don't know anything, you can customize it for your own design. Wow. Um, so those pop-ups, again, the help other question, helpers. Exactly. The other question that I haven't forgotten is around responsive. So uh, what I would say is the Muse team is listening, and we're looking at responsive, and we're looking for contributions from the community. If you want to be part of the story, join the private pre-release, which mm -hmm. is MusePreRelease.com. Come on in, agree to keep what you learn secret, and help mm -hmm. us develop the future yeah. as we look at new features as we go along. And we're doing more and more of that, I think, across a lot of applications, really soliciting user feedback early allowing people to really come in, be part of the family, keep it to yourself, but yeah. help us develop it and make it what you want and make it better. Yeah, yeah that's, that's absolutely true. Muse was in public beta for a year. We have two to 3,000 folks that are in our private pre-release. We give them builds all throughout the process. The pre-release runs alongside the shipping version, so you can have both of them and really interact with it. It's a great way to kind of get your finger in it and talk directly to the engineering team. They monitor it, they answer the questions, they support it directly, so it's pretty true. Yeah, that is very cool. 
Yeah, it's hard to, you know, as, uh, again, this responsive question came up, but it's hard to think about, like, what's next for Muse. I'm, I'm starting to think about, like, what can't it do, right? Because I would look at Dreamweaver, I'm like, well, Dreamweaver can do this. And be like, Muse can do it. Well, like, I'm, I'm out of things, by the way. So, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm. I think we're out of things in general. I guess yeah. at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> and actually, downstairs, uh, we're having a little, a little, uh, little, little happy Creative hour. Cloud release shindig. Yeah, you know, we worked really hard, and we're just going to take a quick break. Uh, and head over there. So something tells you so me your much. next one might be a little more relaxed. So let me tell you one thing about this cloud. It's awesome. No, I'm not gonna do that. But Danny, you are awesome, and Thank I just you. love the knowledge you have and just like how you're connected with uh, people uh, that use Muse. So excellent. That's all I got. Thanks. We'll guys. see you guys in a little bit. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.